Today, we will be looking at the Vapor full screen theme for Playnight. This theme allows a range of customization options, so you can really create that front end gaming UI you've always dreamed of. Here you can see, I actually have custom game art covers that I created myself in Photoshop. I will be adding a tutorial at a later date showing how I created these if you're interested. But if you can't wait that long, there's a link in the description to my ArtStation store where these are available to buy now. I always loved how the old console games from back in the day had a similar art style on the boxes, which you will see in a moment when I scroll over to my emulators. So I try to create a coherent theme for my modern game covers. See what I meant about the cover art styles? They all follow a similar theme. And by the way, Play Night is fantastic for retro gaming emulation. It allows you to set up multiple emulators of your choice, providing you have all the ROMs and BIOS of the original games, which is a subject I won't be covering in this video, but there's plenty of information out there for you if this is something you'd like to add to your gaming collection. Play Night lets you set up filters, which act like categories, allowing you to create these simple tabs for each individual console, meaning you can organize all your games perfectly. Of course, that's how I've done it here, but you can set them out by genre, year of release, or however else you wish. That's the beauty of Play Night. All the original box art and cartridge art you see here is all freely available via open source. Archived sites such as the Cover Project, Archive.org, and many other free archive sites. You may need to source these from multiple sites, as not all of them are available in one place. But I'm sure you'll agree, it's worth putting in a bit of time, as they look superb. One other thing I love about Playnite is that it auto scrapes metadata, giving your games everything from a full description, icon, cover, and even data like Metacritic scores, release dates, publishers, and more. It also scrapes trailers directly from Steam or YouTube and can be set to autoplay them when you open a game tab like I'm about to show you. You know, we never talked about it. While we still wore the colors, we wrote out a farewell. Without Sarah, I knew that we were leaving everything behind. Everything that mattered was gone. Don't leave me out here, man. How many drifters still flying colors around here? As if that shit matters. If you ask me, you got a price on your head. How's it feel to be on the other side? Because that's who we are. The freak show. Only folks survived were those mean enough, nasty enough to out-freak the freaks. We're fighting a war out here. You sure you're up for it? We have to look out for each other. It's all we've got. Oh, come, come on, come with the gun. Oh, the gun no, I will come not. On.
These are just some of the things possible with Plainite. I only discovered it recently, so I'm certain I've only scratched the surface. But I would strongly recommend it to any PC gamer out there who wants a streamlined front-end UI that collates all their game launchers into one and allows for retro gaming too. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for future Plainite videos, including that tutorial on creating cover art. See you all again soon.